And then the third thing you want to work on is when you're here, do not flex your back this way. Always round your back so the energy go on the ground. Especially when you work on the self and stuff, like the Hakka stuff, you want to close your stance a bit more. So you can't rely on the pushing of the leg. That way you're much quicker, but you don't lose power if you remember to round your back and go right into the forearm muscle here. And then the next thing is the threading with the finger, particularly in this move. This is really important because if you thread this way, and the hand does not hit right away, then his other hand's gonna punch you in the face. Because you basically lift his arm up like that, so it's natural for him to try to punch, right? So as soon as you cut and lift his arm, this part of his hip is gonna move a little bit. When that happens, your shot should be coming from this corner, so you can't even see it coming. So when you lift it, you go and hit right away. You don't have to do a finger strike. You can do a punch or a punch strike. So, now, I find this kind of movement, if I shrink it a lot, it blends pretty well with my wing chain, right?